Welcome to Excel magic trick number 1523. Hey, we're still talking about dynamic arrays, and we got to talk about data validation list drop down. But we want a unique sorted list in our drop down with no blanks. Now, we've been looking for a solution like this for years, and with the new Office 365 dynamic arrays, the solution is easy. Now let's look at the end result. I simply want a sorted dropdown that will allow me to change this. I'm going to change it to Al and Enter. And when I come over to the dropdown, there's Al right at the top. Now we'll go over to the sheet 1523. Now the first thing we want to do is extract from the player column a sorted unique list. Now, I'm going to add an empty here because we have to deal with that. Well, in Office 365, this is simply amazing. I'm going to use this sort function and then the unique function. Now, I'm going to highlight this range, Control Shift, Down Arrow, Control Backspace, close parentheses, close parentheses, and Enter. Uh oh, formulas treat empty cells as zeros. That's not what we want. F2. I'm going to highlight this, Control-C, and guess what? We're going to treat this as a list that we want to filter. Filter is yet another amazing new array function. There's the array, comma. And what do I want to include? Control-V. And I'm going to say, as long as you're not equal to 0. Less than, greater than means not. Now, that last argument is if this returns nothing, which we're not going to have. Close parentheses and Enter. And so now we have filtered. If I come up here and change this to Al, just like that, our sorted unique list is working. Now, here's the data validation part. We go up to the Data Ribbon tab, over to Data Validation, and click. If you want to use the keyboard, Alt-D-L, Tab, L, Tab. Now. All we have to do is reference the array. If I put that range in, it gives me that range right there. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to backspace using only the cell where the formula lives. I put a hashtag after that or a pound symbol. That means refer to the entire spilled array. Click OK. And now we have our drop down. That is absolutely amazing. I'm going to add a name. Banjo. And just like that, our list is working. And over here, sure enough, there it is right at the top. Now, if we want to add records to the bottom, of course, we have to convert this to an Excel table. So I'm going to click in a single cell and use the keyboard, Control-T. Click OK. Notice that our formula is referring to the range A5 to A29, which is the correct range here. When we convert it to a table, anything pointing to the table will update when we add new records to the bottom. Now, in earlier videos, we used table formula, nomenclature, table name, column name. But it's perfectly all right to use the cell references. Remember that that's A29. So we'll go down to the bottom of the table. And in the first cell below the last record, I'm going to type a new name, Aaron. Put the date and the weight and on. Enter. Now when I go up and I look at our formula, F2, there it is. It expanded to A30. And of course, Aaron's at the top. And our data validation dropdown sorted unique list has Aaron at the top. All right, that's how to create a Sorted unique list that avoids empty cells for a data validation drop down list. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, including 24 and 25, a couple more cool dynamic array formula tricks. All right, we'll see you next video.